There is no meme. This is just a threat. Alright, so he's packing a sword weaver. That's not good. Alright, so here's the thing. Here is the thing. I want to steal those chess keys. I have made that very clear. But I could also consider my priorities. First of all, does she instantly die? If yes, she does. Okay, well, that's fine. Fight, sleep song. Have this guy take a little nappy. Nice. Who ha you had the stealable bronze icon. You did. Okay. So now we have to kill that guy. Which we will do... With his edge. Oh, his edge is a reaver weapon! I didn't read. That's why... That's why the hand axe had more of a chance of hitting him. I... Am I the main villain of the Punk Hazard arc of One Piece? Because I am a Caesar clown. That is a good level up. That is very good. Alright. Now that guy's taking a little nappies. I'm going to steal this chest key. Which only looks like a bad decision. Because, oh no! He can kill her now! Ha ha ha! You fool. And then because she's a merfolk, I can drop her anywhere! I didn't, but I could've. And now because I know that that's a reaver, he's actually better off with that. There we go. Hold on, this doesn't weigh you down so much that you would get doubled by- no, not- no, not true. Alright. Um... Yeah, no, we're going to do not that. That's- that's- that's for sure. And then Rallel is right there, he can heal her up. Except he don't need to, cause Radali's a beast! Um... Do I guess he can still top her off? Sure. Uh, I am not using that light magic rank, but you are just a very effective healer. Daphne, you wait there. Okay, those ruins had nothing of significance. Fair enough. Oh, fuck, I gotta... Oh, what is your move? Five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Yeah, so we just... Okay, so Frankie's the only one that hasn't moved. Yeah. Okay. I guess he's just running away now. Good luck with that one, buddy. Ow. Very nice, Radali. Very nice. Go get him, Neville! Hell yeah, baby. That guy's cool. Right. It looks like I've all but beaten the map. How many more turn? You have one more turn of sleep. Alright, let's steal the bronze icon. Level up Tyron. Let me guess, more speed. No, okay. And now we will... Who has that one book? You have the Frostbite. Okay. Which means... I'm gonna, like, position you right there? Yes. And I'm going to trade over the aforementioned Frostbite. And then I'm going to bite the Frost with it. Very cool. And then a golly can probably finish the job? Oh dear. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. 
This... I think he's just running away. So I'm gonna hope that I don't have to fuck with him. Yeah. Not the best strategy I've ever had. But it is a strategy nevertheless. Jesus Christ. Okay. Steel bow. Yeah, so we're gonna have to do steel bow here. Why are these lizard people so damn powerful? And then JR will just iron bow him and he'll shoot him dead. There we go. Goodbye, lizard man. Wow, they are hard. Alright. So you can't reach her. You're just gonna go for the chest anyway. And you can't instantly kill anyone. Very, very nice. Uh, Kale could get a kill here, but do I really want him to level nothing again? Alright, here comes Frankie. Very good. Level up. Can you get some strength, please, to complement your really good speed and skill? Thank you. I didn't expect that to actually work. You, you have a f magical weapon. I'm not doing that, mind you, but okay. Heal up Radali. And you have Bolt and Sleep Song. So if I went up here... Uh, four... Yeah, no, this would work out in the long, long run. Um, I'm just gonna say, though... No, it's not the one I wanted to push. Fuck. I don't... I guess... Pulling you. Getting Bram right there. Okay. Let's end the turn. Okay. An old horn was pilfered. What does that... What does that do? Is it a stat booster? Con! Yo, whoa, 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 whoa. Hold, hold on, hold on. Hold. Hold, hold the fuck on. You, hold on. Hold your goddamn horses. You're, you're not getting away with that. You're, you are not leaving with that in your pockets. No, sir. No how. Um. So what we're gonna do here is Tyron. Did you double him? What the fuck do you mean you don't double him? Alright, well, hold on. Oh yeah, you, you double him, and you don't, but you do enough damage that he would die. I want to steal that chest key, but like, it's obviously not worth it to do so. So instead, I'm gonna hope for the crit. Come on, give me the crit! Yes! And with that, the old horn is assuredly in my in my convoy. That guy's a silver icon, right? Okay. So, yeah, so I can't, okay, I can't shove him, because he, okay, fine, fine, that's fair. A completely fair event. I'm assuming you don't die, yeah, you, you hurt. Who is calling me? I am gaming. Oh, it's my mother. I guess I need to take this. So my mother had a dream that I lost my foot in a car accident, and she had to make sure I was going to be careful today. So that's... that's fun that that's now in my head. Let's see, Iron Sword... okay, so first of all... The Trident does 18. That does 12. That's 30. Bram lives with exactly one. So let's start with this. Oh, and he dodged. A fucking baller. And then Radali can exactly kill this guy. This is really cool. Okay. Oh, and wait. 
He does magical damage. He still hurts like a bitch. But he has no crit chance and Rollo's right there, so... I really have nothing to lose by doing this. Ow. So, Radali. Healer to full. Level up. Radali. Rollo healer. And you know what? Ten magic? Fine by me. You're not doing bad. You know, I can probably just fucking murder this guy before he gets away. That sounds like a cool thing to do. And then if you do this... Very nice, very nice. Uh, and then Ice Wind, perfect. There we go. Now, Lyra, my dear, are you going to get a good first level up? That will welcome you onto the team in style. Magic and speed. You. I. I don't think I'm ever going to give a lance to you because of your abysmal constitution. And I know I just got the old horn, but I think that's a bit better on Frankie. Because Frankie being able to wield heavy lances combined with her absurd speed. But then again, the speed penalty for her doesn't really matter. It should be someone whose speed. Isn't that good, but fringe it. Okay, yeah, no, hold on. Malcolm. Malcolm looks to be pretty good for the old horn. I think. Alright, so we end. He's gonna go after Bram. Ow. Okay. So, player phase. Uh... Iron needs some inventory space. There we go. Steal the silver icon. The fucking Narbid and Le Lemony, when they get back in the party, are gonna have so much experience. Alright. Malcolm Steelbow. Very nice. Oh, it's a woman one. I'm so used to Fire Emblem never doing female generics that looking at female generics in this game, even though they're not that uncommon... Someone tell remind me what 93% is with True Hit. Um... Pull... And just... No. No. I'm just not going to. I'm just not going to. Alright. Void should bring him down exponentially. Oh no. Oh no. Okay, no, no, we're fine. Kale. Just hitting him with the iron axe is good enough. Okay, you know what? Kale is fucking gaming. Good for him. Good on him. Uh, would the uh, spring blade be more accurate? Yes, but it wouldn't kill him. Oh no, it wouldn't be more accurate. The weapon triangle just makes it the same accuracy. Alright, there we go. Level up, baby! Your offenses. Alright, you're you're a mixed attacker. Alright, Rallel get some healing in for experience. I'm not risking it, alright? He doesn't drop anything. I don't need to fuck with him. I'm just going to go home. Did Bram have to step on that point? Alright, I guess I am gonna have to fucking risk this then. 
Because apparently you needed to seize the point with Bram. Alright, so it didn't end up mattering. But can you imagine if it did? I thought reach point could be done by anybody. Yeah, normally the reach points... Could, maybe it explained in the beginning I had to do it with Bram and I just forgot. <sighs> Damn. It's finally over. Certainly aren't Apollo anyway. Can you fucking do a Wizard of Oz reference? I was just doing my job, miss. You are too humble. You are a hero. All of you are. Where is Shane? Will your ship be arriving soon? My worry for it deepens. Not to worry, my lady. I see our ship approaching quickly. Speak to me, Valgriff. What are you called? The name's Malcolm, Valpurian Ranger. So, did you like my moves out there? They were most impressive. You, yeah, skill is like the one stat of his that's good. Malcolm is definitely hitting things. He's not really doubling, nor is he really doing them that much damage. But... He's hitting them. There we go. The merfolk are okay. Yes, the bear is impressed. Thank you. Hey, Dyseth, pretty impressive archery this time, yeah? I wasn't watching. I mean, to be fair, Malcolm did save our bacon with the Tide Hunter multiple times. The Tide Hunter, combined with this map being a lot of water, really felt like it was made for Malcolm to fly around and Tide Hunter things to death. All right. Yeah, who the fuck was this guy? How is Dewey on that mountain? Have you ever jumped inside of a whirlpool? These lead to our homes underwater. Yes. No. Wait. For Dolly, when have you... I jump inside the pool, you will float downwards. Of course not, you fool. Lart, mind the ship. Yeah, you know, Malcolm has a very good point about, you know, what if we drown? I don't think it was that ridiculous. I like how he moves slowly to show that he's, like, hesitating. Is this real? We're literally breathing underwater. Welcome to our world, Valgriff. It's truly, it truly is fascinating the first time around. I never tire of visiting such places. I'm totally speechless. It's like I'm floating on air. You, you fly! It's beautiful here. Thank you, Malcolm. Luckily, our village was protected by the sh from the Shamulites, and more importantly, our elder is safe. Dame Siren, show me to him immediately. Do not waste my time with this tourist. As you wish, Captain. Tourist, right. By the way, Captain, you're welcome for doing the hard work. You should be thankful, Hatchling. You'll need all the experience you can get if you want to survive your return home. Hm. Elder Kari, I bring you the heroes of the surface. Hello. Lyra, Shane. Ah, oh, thank Mother Trissa. What a miracle. Mako, I'm glad you're safe as well. Well, good for this guy. You know, I know that this is a thing... Is it possible to be completely balding, but like the back? That's what balding works. It starts from the top and goes out. So yeah, I guess you would be able to be bald with a ponytail. I guess that would be exactly how that works, huh? I wonder if that's in my future. Yeah, but Dolly is the true hero here. Her and Malcolm. You're welcome, sir. Shouldn't you be swimming with the fishes or something? Focus, you two. Now, Elder, before I set out for the Adred Strait, I began to sense a lingering power in Poloi. As we approached, it grew more potent, powerful, and endearing. Is that related to your invasion? What do these Shamalites fight for? Fucking Baylor inserting himself into a fish civil war. Except the deity they worship is one of destruction. To appease it, they've always acted in primitive... Okay, so now we get a fish Satan cult. Murder and sacrifice, baby! It's the fish people Satan cult. Love to see it. Love to see it. Shamul. Eh, easy to remember. What does it look like? Ancient tablets spell terrible tales of Shamul. A giant sea serpent with an armored crown and tentacles spanning inconceivably long distances. It is said that only after the Namori begged for him to stop his mighty wrath did he finally decide to end his tyranny. Promising that they should stop worshipping him. 
I mean, if they should stop worshiping, he would kill everything. You laugh? No, Elder, I believe you entirely. That said, I can't help but chuckle. They call that a god, a giant worm with insatiable hunger. Then I'm also a god. Call me Baylor the Godly. I said this must be it. The um, tell me, Elder, if this god were to rise again, and I claimed its head as my prize, would I too become a god? Why should I fear another being that bleeds the same blood as I? That's a pretty fucking good line, actually. Alright. Baylor, hold on a second. Baylor's just decided to insert himself into an entirely different game. A cargo going low, please provide a crew with some ample supplies of food. I've never met such a brazen bean. Yeah, he... Baylor really said, I'm gonna go kill that god for you. By the way, I need food. I actually really like that line. Why should I be afraid of something that bleeds the same blood as I? That's pretty good. I like it. Alright, now we have the merlady. Yes, I am sure. I cannot sit back and watch people fight for us. Anyways. Oh no, that was it? You know, I said I was gonna I didn't want to spend two episodes here, but I think I might end up being a liar. Let's let's end this episode, which is probably going to be two episodes now. At the mission start screen of fear. First of all, this chapter is just called Fear. Hey, uh, thanks for helping us. You're shifting a number on them. That's a flag of Amphrit. What are you doing out here? I, I do business with Duke Loyus. That's why I was, excuse me, that's why I was able to find you. Look, I'll be straight up with you. It's not someone you know, someone real close. Look, Bram, I don't know another way to say it, so... It's about Jane. She's on board with us. Oh, finally! We're finally getting to this! What? Jane is with you? We and Pollard with Jonah. What happened? Long story short, my daughter heard the young girl crying in the middle of Amphret Square. So she brought him to me, and I used my business position with Lois to find your whereabouts. Didn't take long to figure out how you tried to get to Doldrum. The point is, she's with us. We've been hunting for you ever since. Just come aboard. She needs to be seen by you. Oh boy. This isn't going to go good. This is going to be bad, actually. Kid. This isn't good. Jane, what happened? Me and Dewey are here. Uh, uh, yep, yep. Dewey. I take it you're the captain's daughter? That I am. You're Bram, then. You're Bram, then. My name is Shaira. You have no idea how relieved I am that you're here. This girl breaks my heart. Where, Where's your brother? Ram, I'm scared. He's gone. He's gone. Jonah's gone. Gone? I think I can handle it from here. I understand. I'll leave you to it. Bram, have you calmed down a little? Uh-huh. Good. I'm scared. I know. What happened? What do you mean Jonah's gone? You can do it, kid. I need you to keep it together for a bit. Okay. After we left Amphrit, me and Victor and Donald were gonna find an inn for the night. Then, seconds later... Seconds later... Keep going. Seconds later... The Red Luster. They snuck up and... They killed them. They killed Victor and Donald. So much blood. The men were so scary. I thought they were gonna kill me too. Then, a crow named Aroda came and... Don't hold back. They took him. They took him! <laughs> She's gone! Jonah's gone! Look at me, Jane. I'm going to fucking kill that bird. Kid, that's an order. I will find him, and I will make everything okay. I promise you. I swear on my life. I will find your brother and bring him back. Do you understand? Uh-huh. Louder. Yes, I understand. But, yeah. Just sad. 
I just want this to stop. I just want my brother back. I do too. Don't leave me. I have no one anymore. You bet. We're all in this together, right? You've got an army behind you now. We're all gonna work together to bring him back. Okay. Take a few deep breaths. Try to get some rest. We'll be right next to you when you wake up. Wipe away your tears and sleep. Uh-huh. Okay. Promise not to go, Bram. Well, that was sad as fuck. Glad we finally got to that, though. Oh, that's nice. Damn it. You poor kid. You don't deserve this. What if I let you come? Will you be here, Jane? No. If only I could've... If only I could've killed him. Look at you. I swear. I swear I'll find you, Jonah. Just wait for me. That's a very nice CG. I love the... It's like watercoloring, isn't it? But no, it's in the GBA, like, pixeliz pixelization. Oh, it's probably a watercolor, like, pixelized. Or probably not watercolor. It's probably digital. But they're digital watercolor, right? It's, even if it's not technically a watercolor, because you're not using watercolor paint. It's still the style. Ah, I'm just gonna keep going. We are going to kill that bird. It's like the Sesame Street movie, Follow That Bird, but violent. You aren't as weak as you think. No one ever said this would be easy. Come now, look at me, would you? Burley, I'm up here. Sorry, big bro. I just don't know if swordplay is what's best for me. I'm not strong like you, and I bruise easy. And yet, you step in the ring every single sparring session. You got pluck, kid. I just want to be like you, but it's hard. Well, if I weren't here, what would you want to be? I don't know. Prince Burliard, if I may. Yes, Gillian? Are you interested in practicing something more in tune with your interests? Like magic? Magic? Me? Oh, that's a splendid idea. You're a big reader, right? Well, what's that got to do with it? You could read tomes. Perhaps you could even char the rears of those la bleh, larger peers of yours. That would show them. Prince Ordis has a point. Set your bullies on fire. Well, maybe, but I want to keep training with the blade. Why not both? That way, I would supremely outduel my peers. In fact, I'm going to train right now. Come on! Already? I just fixed you up. Oh, boy. <laughs> He's probably going to injure himself again. I should get going. What is it, Gillian? Nothing, your highness. Well, all right. We won't be more than 15 minutes. Would you prepare a snack for him? As you wish. Mm-hmm. Spend an awful lot of time with Dame Olympia when you're home. You need not say any more, your highness. That's adorable. Also, she's with the bad guys now, so it's going to be sad... Who knows? Please check on Ortis. Since the child boarded days ago, he's not been himself. I know you've noticed, too. Two barks is a yes. Thank you, boy. A few days later. Yeah, you're not going to convince Baylor to go look for this child. Okay, so the fish people are going undercover, and the bird people are scouting. We are using the furries to our advantage. Yes? My word, do you look like garbage? Had rough sleep. No, you haven't slept at all. It's that child you adopted, without my consolation, by the way. That's the cause of this. The crew cannot afford for you to dwell on the child so much. Can't help it, but I wouldn't expect you to understand. On the contrary, I most certainly do, but we're definitely going to fight the Shamalites that have overtaken Nord once Lord and Dyseth return. Clearly you aren't ready to lead. I'm assigning Malcolm to lead. I can fight just fine. I don't doubt your will to fight. I doubt your judgment. Well, you spent the last 15 minutes upholding a conversation with literally nobody around you. I was talking to Dewey. Just couldn't see him from see him next to me from down here. Then wouldn't you have any qualms justifying your claim if I told you that little friend has been chewing on a rope behind us the entire time you were up there? <laughs> no, I swear I was... He was up there. Right, as I was saying. 
All I need for you today is to fight. Don't think, just fight and follow orders. Uh, nothing else matters today. So Bram's going a little cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. Fair, fair. Alright, so now we're gonna fight underwater. That's kind of cool. Oh, fuck. That's a pre-promoted druid up there. Oh, I dread behaving myself as one of these vile Shamulites. Stay in character. Remember, all we're doing is providing a scouting report for Captain, ba Captain Baylor. You need to remind me I'm only expressing disdain. Come on. You're a monster. You're all monsters. Your kind disgusts me. <sighs> That's all you can do, isn't it, Kalkos? Mindlessly follow orders? You brainless beast! Touch my grandfather and so help me, Narud, I'll... Yeah. Silence, boy. Your whimpering does no good now. Phys... Physical... Physical? Critical doesn't care. And if you test him like this, he may just lose his patience and hack your head clean off, just as he'll do to your pathetic kin. Now come, Shamul awaits. It's grandfather, he said. But that's the Elder's Temple. Which means he's being held captive in there. I don't know what they want with him. It's time we return, explain what we saw, and engage. Well, here we go! Malcolm, you're commanding this fight. Are you prepared to fight here? I think so. My movement feels a bit hindered, but I can get used to it. What are these creatures over there, though? Those are Jelly Jellies. Do not let their appearance fool you. Those beings carry vis- Oh, immediately paralyzed. Alright! Let's look at what all we got here. Okay, so that jellyfish maybe could have chosen a better palette, but it's pretty cool looking. Oh, and they're fast. Oh, that doesn't- that's not the greatest. Primitive, but deadly. Okay. So let's look around and see, is there anything that Tyron's gonna want to steal? Was that a pre-promoted warrior? And fight here. Okay, so we're starting to get to pre to like promoted enemies. There's one bronze icon. Is that really enough to warrant bringing Tyron along? I don't think it is. Um I don't know if I even need a golly, because this lady is just a golly, but better. I can do that. The problem is there's so much fast magic going around here. Like, I, there's no place for my armor units. They're just going to instantly die. Which sucks, because I, I want to use the armor units. But this is not the place for them. So I guess I'll bring Nobia on? Sure, that works. Um, let's give the un- You know what, let's- Hold on, who needs Constitution? Whose speed is Fringe? Malcolm's was a pretty Fringe speed. So let's- Let's use that old horn. Now he can use the Steel Bow without getting weighed down. And he's weighed down less by the Tidehunter. And then everyone else, I think, is pretty fine. Yeah, okay. I will... Hold on real quick, though, for you. I will see you guys... Next time! For another exciting episode... Of Dear God, Just Let Me Use My Armor Units. Take care.